Hello everyone, welcome to Radula Studio. This is a Paint With Me session. So, here we go. I tend to start the process by choosing a color that I'm somehow interested to. I say somehow because usually this is a completely unconscious, unconscious process. So, this is what I'm trying to do here. I choose a crimson red with a bit of a pink inside and I try to shape something that at the moment looks like a coral I'm not sure I'm never sure about what I'm gonna paint I don't have an idea I don't have something in mind I might have a color or a shape but it's usually something completely open and it's usually a process of trying to play and this is exactly what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to play I'm trying to play with my paint and this is what the channel is made for it's made for you to take inspiration of ways to paint to actually free your imagination and be in the moment a friend of mine once talked about about my process of painting as a high meditation process which might be true, I am very concentrated into playing, basically. I'm very up to what's happening on the paper. I try to follow something that I see or I might see. And what do I see here? I don't see, but... Um, if what I was painting so far was a coral, this could be the rock that the coral grows on, or some sort of a weird cell. You know, you never, you never know what's going to happen, what's going to appear. So that's the interesting thing with being playful. You just have a desire or an urge to use a color or find a shape but what you discover in the end is a very different thing and what you discover by discover I mean what you see unfolding on the paper and usually what I see unfolding is what I'm trying to follow And I'm not sure what this is. So since I don't really know what that is yet, that I'm doing, I move to, I move back to the coral. And expand its, its shape. Another way of expanding what I have on paper is to think in compositional terms. So if I have a lot of information there, I need more information around it on the paper. So again, nothing specific in mind, but just balance. Like how can I balance what I have there? So I think of a light color. In aquarelles it's very important to think of light colors first and then to add shadows on them. So this, what I'm doing here, looks a little bit like a 
Weird Dragon. So I'm trying to follow that dragon appearance. I play with the colors that I, I already have in small with small changes but I try not to add a lot of information yet since I'm not sure what exactly I'm doing I'm taking easy in terms of other colors And once I think of a dragon, of course, I, I see that my subconscious already uploads pictures of dragons that I've seen and my hand tries to reproduce them. A lot of times unsuccessfully in terms of it's not exactly what I thought of, but actually that's even better. It turns out to be even better. So whatever you do, trust the process. I used to be very stubborn with what I had in mind and trying to go for it. But since I let go of that and I'm trying to be more playful, the result is much more fun, I would say, and much more creative. Completing the dragon, adding a tail. Another thing that I enjoy watercolors is the element of surprise of uh, adding a little water and playing with the effect that the water has and how the paint dissolves and spreads. I find that a very interesting way to, to paint and of course I don't stay with the effect but i'm trying to make use of it like reimagine it or play with it and try to understand how it works and through that process something else appears i would say that is a process of small appearances or gradual appearances. And now within what I thought of as a coral before it's like seeing another form I'm trying to understand what it is but it's not there yet
And since, since this form is quite organic, but still feels like attached to that blue greenish area, which I don't know what it is yet. It feels as it should have some sort of roots. And yeah, there is something there. There is something there. You should think of painting with aquarelles as layering, as if you would do it in Photoshop or another program, but it's like layers and you start from very thin, very light layers and you add more like thicker ones, stronger ones on top. At least that's how I like to think of it. Trying to mimic its scales and hair and Prokoski's diving into that coral figure. So I try to give it an earthy vibe. I'm thinking of moss, I'm thinking of the color of moss, I'm thinking of the structure of moss and also mushrooms. No, this part is, I would describe it a bit as doodling with the shapes. I just try to keep that shape and bring that color like in other places as well. In this case, the blue. so that it has like this area has some sort of organic feeling. I tend to say organic a lot, but uh, 
I think it's an important element of what I do. Once you establish an element in your painting, it you somehow have to continue in the same way. It's like building with the same materials that appear that you have in your hands. After all, it is a process of world making, and this in this world making, you have to construct. It has to have an inner logic, like how things are built. In this case, it's structures. And And here I go for the environment of it. I start seeing a sky. It has this color. And maybe clouds try to mimic cloud shape. Here again, I try to leave the water and do its magic. Because what I'm trying to do is to, to have more concentrated color in some areas of this cloud. So I put a bit more concentrated color in the water area and then it spreads. So basically the water does the work for you.
This state, I feel that I'm getting closer to the end of the painting, uh, the painting because I, I stretch to the maximum these organic qualities I was I was talking about uh, in terms of color, in terms of shape, in terms of inner logic. So I spread the red now as parts of those roots or nutrients for this coral, flower, whatever it is, shape.
So I think this is it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. It, I hope it was an inspiring session. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification and like button. Uh, find me on Instagram to see more paintings. And I will see you next week with more painting sessions.